So now today I'm going to show you how I'm going to roast my coffee, okay? From the bean to a good coffee roast. But you, you can see these beans, you know, they are like this. And then that's the skin, the parchment skin, okay? And that's the bean inside, right? So that's what we need to separate. We need to remove the parchment skin. Therefore, I have brought this beautiful mortar and pestle and I am gently rotating this pestle around the beautiful mortar so that I can remove the parchment skin and you know get the beans out so you know it's not a very easy process it is quite quite intensive and you see now how I'm separating the parchment skin from the coffee bean and this is what we need to achieve to roast so the process is still not complete and once I separate the skin I will then start my roasting all right okay guys so let me transfer all that here okay after the the rotating of the beautiful pestle gently to remove the parchment skin and then what I'm going to do is I will try to separate right separate the bean okay so it's going to take a while while I separate all the beans and then my beans are ready for roasting okay so it's going to take a while for me to do so and let me get back to you once I am ready all right so these are the beans I managed to collect right after doing the entire cleaning process and now these arabica beans have to go into a beautiful pan for a roast now i need to decide whether it has to be a dark roast a medium roast you know a mild roast depends on the flavor all right so this process for removing the skin for removing the skin of the parchment bean to getting it to this condition is basically this condition is basically the hulling process it's just nothing but the hulling process it we have to manage to crack this bean you know take out that skin the parchment skin and then bring it to the this condition the bean condition and this is basically nothing but the hulling process i have demonstrated to you basically a manual process everything done by hand and no machines involved right so i've got a nicely heated pan over here okay and i've got my beans right and i'm going to i've got a high flame on at the moment and i'm going to drop these beans in here right and i need to keep an eye on it and gently keep stirring it with a wooden spoon yeah so your drying process when you dry you remember your beans your bean okay it needs to dry properly so if it tells you like you need an extra day please do so right so keep on roasting them as soon you will see the color changing slowly so you can see it's slowly changing color the moisture is a bit more in these uh, coffee beans because I have probably dried it uh, for lesser amount of time uh, I, I just would prefer an extra day but you will see now I can get the coffee aroma and uh, in the meantime I can see the beans are getting brown and brown and uh, soon I will see whether I need to keep it at a medium roast mild roast or dark roast dark roast is completely uh, almost close to black okay they are getting better and better now and uh, i would prefer to go a bit on the darker side uh, probably between a mild and a dark roast uh, probably a medium roast and a dark roast let me see um, uh, just trying to decide based on the aroma and uh, maybe I will stop in another uh, four to five minutes. 
We'll try to use a pan of this, you know, this shape, you know, this shape, because it will keep the heat even, and you you can play around so that you you know you, you there are less chances of getting it burnt, right? So looking pretty good, I. Eh? The beans have taken shape. Lovely, good aroma. Okay. Now I'm going to tip it on a plate. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Lovely roasted coffee beans. So the beans are now cooled down, well roasted, and looking pretty good. Time for making the powder. All right. So now I've got my beans roasted. I got my beautiful coffee machine ready with me and I'm going to drop all the beans in my beautiful manual machine jar and we will now start the grinding process. Okay, let's go. One and a two and a one and a two. Beautiful coffee grinding manual machine. No mechanical or sorry no electrical equipment involved here beautiful beautiful lovely machine okay. and then we will get the beautiful coffee powder this is fresh ground coffee powder okay and with this you can make your lovely beautiful coffee Beautiful, tasty coffee, right? The aroma is, oh, it's simply majestic, all right? Okay, guys, I hope you love this video, and this is how we make coffee. I've explained to you the entire process, right from the blossom, plucking of the coffee bean, uh, the cherry, and until making this beautiful coffee powder, okay? Cheers and you all have a good night. Thank you.